Hi paper lovers, it's Sarah and today we're going to be making a Christmas card and we're going to be using the Martha Stewart branch punch and I'm not sure if she still makes this punch. I got it at Walmart a while ago on clearance but I know it was real popular for a while so a lot of people have it. But we're going to be using this to make a wreath and I've seen people do this before and I've seen them make um, Christmas trees with it but I decided I wanted to um, do a wreath card. So what I did was I cut this Christmas wreath from the Christmas Solutions cartridge and I just cut it out on blackout so it didn't have any of the little um, tick marks and I just layered, I punched a bunch of the branches out and I just layered a bottom layer on here and I just glued it down with my Zig 2A glue pen and then I did a layer, I um, just kind of staggered them around and you know left some parts unadhered and some parts adhered down just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I cut, um, and I'm going to get the size of my um, wreath in just a second. And da -da 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 -da. My wreath was cut at three inches. And then I cut some of these little circles. And I got my circles from Winter Woodland, but there's tons of circles on credit cartridges. I cut these at a quarter of an inch, and I just adhered them down, and then I added some Christmas red stickles to them for the um, holly berries. I added a little red bow down here. This is just some red satin ribbon with some silver trim. So that's my adorable little wreath, and we are going to build our card. I took a piece of 8.5 by 11 craft cardstock, cut it down the middle at... Um, four and a quarter to get this style of a card. And I've got some mats here. and We're just going to um, adhere these down. Okay, so this mat is going to go right here at the top. red mat. And the green one's just an eighth of an inch shorter all around. The red one is an eighth of an inch shorter all around. Okay. And then this um, pattern paper is from Cloud9 Designs. It's from their seasonal stack. It's got the um, autumn, Halloween, and Christmas paper. I thought it was cute with the holly berries. And this one is a quarter of an inch shorter than the red one. Oh, no. It's going to come up. Come on. Our little mat, and I am going to grab some foam squares and we're going to pop our wreath up. And I'm just going to stick some squares all around the wreath. Okay. Ah, sorry, I'm going to quickly take these off. Uh, quickly. Oh, come on. Okay. Take a little wreath. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and we're just going to stick that on the middle. Oh, it's so cute. I love this little wreath. That's such fun um, dimension on there. Okay, now let me grab my ink. Just um, kind of rearranged my room a little bit and um, organized some stuff, and I couldn't remember where I put my inks. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab my Wishing You All the Magic and Joy of the Holidays. This is a Hero Art Stamp. Okay, and that's going to go right down here. Ta da! 
And then I punched a couple more little branches here. Let me grab my zig. And I'm just going to put some of the there. And we're going to put the branch right here. And I have one more. Three more of the quarter inch circles for our little holly berries. Just going to do the same thing that I did to the other holly berries and add some stickles on here. If I can do this with, I don't know, my head's in the shot. There. So once you, um, you know, the wreath is a little bit time consuming, but I think it's worth it for that extra dimension. So there's our little wreath card. Cute. Thanks everybody for stopping by and have a blessed day.